Okay, everybody. So now we're going to read our story. Today for story time, we have this book. It's called Always in Trouble. And by the picture of this book, what do you think this is about? It's about a cat. It's about a cow. Maybe a dog. Let's find out. This is written by Corinne Demas. So it says, Emma's dog Toby was always in trouble. On Monday, he got into the garbage. On Tuesday, he ran into the road. On Wednesday, he ate a loaf of bread that Emma's dad had just baked. It says, on Thursday, he barked in the middle of the night. On Friday, he wet the rug. And on Saturday, he chewed up all the buttons on Emma's new coat. And on Sunday, oh, he snoozed. But on Monday morning, he got into the garbage again. Oh dear. Do you think your mom and dads would be happy if your dog took the trash and spread it all across the house? Something has to be done about that dog, said Emma's mom. Maybe he isn't getting enough attention, said Emma. So all day Monday, she gave Toby lots of attention. She took him for walks. <laughs> and brushed his fur and sang him silly songs. But on Tuesday, Toby ate a box of crayons. On Wednesday, he jumped into the basket of clean laundry that Emma's mom had just finished folding. Oh boy. He was very good on Thursday. He was very good on Friday. But on Saturday, he chewed up a magazine. Oh boy. And the magazine says, good dog magazine. Do you think he's acting like a good dog? Oh, and on Sunday, he went wading in the muddy brook and then he ran across the clean kitchen floor. Oh boy, look at all this mess. There's dirt all over the clean kitchen. Something has to be done about that dog, cried Emma's mom. Maybe he needs to go to a dog training school, said Emma. What a great, great idea, said Emma's mom. The first class started the next day. There were 10 dogs in Toby's class. Some were big and some were little, some barked and some yipped and some growled and some whined. But Toby was as quiet as a goldfish. What? He behaved perfectly at school every week and he did everything just right. Look at him, he's balancing one, two, three, four, five, five balls on his nose. When Emma said, sit, he sat. And when Emma said, come, he came. And when Emma said, heel, he stood right by her side. He was the best dog, said Mrs. Katz, the teacher, when the classes were all over. At graduation, she gave Toby a diploma with a gold seal. Emma's mom tacked the diploma low down on the wall, right over Toby's dog dish. Now you know how to behave, she said to Toby, because look at his diploma. But on Monday, 
Toby got into the garbage. What? On Tuesday, he ran into the road. And on Wednesday, he ate the cookies that Emma's dad had just baked. Oh boy. On Thursday, he barked in the middle of the night and woke everyone up. And it says, bark, bark, woof. And everyone in the house is saying, quiet. On Friday, oh, he wet the rug. And on Saturday, he dug up the petunias Emma and her mom had just planted. Do you think they're going to be happy about all of this? Oh, on Sunday, he chewed up his diploma. Something has to be done about that dog, cried Emma's mom. And Emma took him back to dog school. Looking at this picture, does it look like um, the dog wants to go into the dog school? No. Does he sit? asked Mrs. Katz. Yes, said Emma. Does he come? asked Mrs. Katz. Yes, said Emma. Does he heal? asked Mrs. Katz. Yes, said Emma. Well then, what's the trouble? said Mrs. Katz. So Emma told her. I see, said Mrs. Katz. If you want a specially trained dog, you'll have to leave him with me for one more week. Emma missed Toby all week. He was very happy to see her when she picked him up. Here they are hugging. I hope you've learned something this time, said Emma's mom. Please, Toby, Emma whispered to him. You've got to be good now. Toby licked Emma's face. He had a strange twinkle in his eye. On Monday, he took out the garbage. On Tuesday, he baked some bread. On Wednesday, he vacuumed the rug. Wait a second, can dogs really vacuum a rug and bake bread and take out the garbage? No, so this is a story where we're using our imagination. On Thursday, he folded the laundry. On Friday, he washed the kitchen floor. And on Saturday, he planted some petunias. And on Sunday, he snoozed. But no dog can be perfect always, not even Toby. So then there's this long line. Oh, and he's running off to chase a squirrel. And now when our story's over, we say the end. Thank you for listening to our story today and we will talk to you guys later. Bye.